Hi everyone, it's Christine here, and today I'm going to share some healthy habits that helped me through a very unproductive few weeks. This is definitely not my normal style of illustration, but I wanted to make it lighthearted and fun. Plus I get a chance to create a comic style cartoon, which I now have the urge to do. Before we get into this video, this is what happened. After posting my last design video, I started the project like I normally do. Fabric was laid out, patterns were cut, and then it was time to sew. And this is where I went downhill fast. I melted my waistband with the iron because I didn't even think to check the settings. So I had gooey burnt fabric all over my iron, which I had to take time that I didn't have to clean. And then after that, I was lucky that I was able to cut a new pattern from my scraps, but something went wrong and the skirt and waistband did not fit together. Long story short, I whipped up a sad looking skirt with a waistband that wasn't lined up correctly, stains from the iron and unnecessary gathers on the band. So, how can something so simple, which I've done so many times, turn so wrong? That's because I hit the wall before I even sat down to sew. And this is what I would look like as a cartoon character. I was forcing a project that needed more than I could give, and I was exhausted from work and day-to-day -day chores on top of YouTube that I just couldn't accomplish a crazy simple project. So, here are my top 10 tips to get out of the funk and back on your feet. The first four tips you probably heard before, but I can't stress how important they are. Number one, be aware of how you feel and know your limit. Listen to your body. It's okay to take it easy when you need to refresh. Number two, eat more fresh foods and drink more water. You heard the saying before, you are what you eat. I think it's more so you feel like what you eat. If you eat high fat and carbs, then you'll feel sluggish. If you eat wholesome foods in moderation, then you feel more energized, which helps with productivity. Number three, exercise. You don't have to be an athlete to move your body. Take a walk, run, or even jog in place. Exercise creates endorphins that help you feel better and actually give you more energy. Number four, get plenty of rest. Sleep gives your body and mind time to heal. Without that, you'll constantly be drained. And plus, who doesn't love to sleep? Number five, keep a journal, write down your to-do list, and schedule out your days. This doesn't mean your time is set in stone, but it is the best way to get the little things off your mind and gives you room to think about the more important things. Also, writing my thoughts down always helps me to clear my emotions, which is so helpful because I can get crazy. Number six, vent and talk it out. Talk to a friend who understands what you're going through. I am so lucky to have met Jordan, who is another YouTuber. Chatting with her made me realize that I'm not alone in my struggles and that it's okay to have periods where I'm not creative. Definitely please check out her channel at the link below. She does amazing work and has a beautiful style to her videos. Number seven, do something that makes you laugh and smile often. Laughing and smiling is known to make you feel like things are okay and sometimes I force myself to smile even though it's the last thing I wanna do and eventually I trick my mind into thinking that I'm good. You're also exercising your facial muscles, which keep you looking younger longer, so the perks of being happy are just worth it. Number eight, read inspirational quotes, articles, and watch inspirational videos. TED Talks are my go-to. This step will make you feel like you can accomplish great things. There is nothing more comforting and motivating like someone else sharing the exact same feelings who are considered accomplished in their field. Number nine, Remind yourself of your worth and your accomplishments every day. Tackle the little things and take note of it. Progress is still progress no matter what. And then number 10, go with the flow until you are ready to push boundaries again. This is the most important tip I will give you. I have fought my body to be productive, but the only thing I did was exhaust myself even more. I binged ate and my emotions were out of whack. Accept this as a fact of life and give your body and mind a break from time to time you'll come back even better. There is no doubt a crazy cycle of no time and no energy within our busy lives, but these tips help me get back into creating and I hope that they help you break through as well. Maybe I'll even try to create that outfit again. By then it would be a summer outfit for sure. Subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more DIYs, inspirational chats, and more. Also follow me on Instagram for future giveaways and behind the scenes sneak peeks. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm crawling around, searching for higher ground. Can't see in front of me.